On today's episode, we're looking at garages, outbuildings, extensions, and annexes. Here we have it. What an amazing space. The uses for your building are endless. You'll be able to twist around and go explore what we've done with this. Here at Oakwise, we have numerous examples of what we do. Our office is over here, built in a room over a garage. Behind us is our sunroom, which houses our meeting room here at Oakwrights. Our annex is another meeting room and our team social area. The uses for your building are endless. Some examples are pool room, gym, home office, Airbnb, swimming pool, garden barn, stables, workshops for cars with car lifts. The opportunities are endless. On today's episode, we'll be looking at process, top tips and examples. Part of our garage range, we have the single storey range and the room over range. These allow quick set designs, which we already have designed up. This is a more cost effective range and is a bit easier than a blank piece of paper. Obviously, we can design anything to suit the plot and the need of the clients. Behind us, we have a two bay room over garage. This is the one I built. It's the two bay little Gloucester, which is part of our standard range. We have the Gloucester, the little Gloucester, Porchester and Winchester. Obviously you can go for a bespoke model, but this for me suited the space that we had. The two bay was because we only had six meters to accommodate, so it was a perfect fit. So here we are in the roof space of the garage. It's amazing how the space evolves. This is a two bay, so the overall envelope is six meters by six meters. Once you've actually got insulation and all the rafters in place, it all starts to close in. On plan, you do not believe that you can actually fit what you can. For us, the need that we had for this is to act as an extra bedroom, a potential Airbnb or a home office. All our clients have different purposes for their spaces and that takes us to the design journey. When you contact Oak Whites, a design consultant will come, understand your needs, look at the space, understand your budget and be able to plan something from that. If it can fit into a standard range, the better, because it would be easier. But if it has to be bespoke, that's not a problem at all. Once the design's in place, the planning process takes place. For a room over, generally you do need planning. Under four meters, you can apply for permitted development, but it's always safer to get the planning. If it's habitable accommodation, then you will certainly need planning and building regulations. Once planning is approved, we can then start with our design process and getting the building on site and built. To start the process quicker, you can use our garage configurator. This is for our single storey and our room over range. With this, you can add the bays you want, put in workshops, add in dormer windows, roof lights, all the things that you want to explore. It helps to visualize what you want to achieve in numerous ways and allows us to price up your dream quicker. Top tips. When designing your room over space, do you want roof lights or dormers? Dormers add a lot more space, but a bit more challenging to get through planning. They do, however, accommodate far more roof space. With the uses, always think about future-proofing. What you might use it for now might not be the same in the future. So always make sure that you have the provisions to accommodate and adapt. On single-story garages, what are you gonna use the spaces for? The depth of the bays might be important. If you have a specific car that is longer than the normal car, the six meter bays might be very important to you over the five and a half meters. All our garages, accommodate all the modern day size cars, such as the Land Rovers and all the other large SUVs, please make sure that you check that any designs can accommodate the size of vehicle you have. If you want to use a workshop, plan that and understand the space and how you're going to use it. Bring any electrics or water, again, this whilst you're doing any digging, just make sure that you bring it all in ready for, for the future. If ever you want to use the downstairs space, just like upstairs, to plan that, to have thicker walls to take insulation allows you to be able to put that in much easier without affecting the design overall. Explore this space yourself on our 3D walkthrough. Be able to twist around and go explore what we've done with this. From outbuildings to extensions, our recent addition to our product line to allow clients to have a slice of oak rights onto their existing home. Behind us here we have our sunroom, which is an orangery, which connects to our, our head office, which we use as a meeting room. A beautiful lantern on the top with some lovely French doors. Inside is amazing.
Here we have it. What an amazing space. The best room here at Oak Rites. We use it for a meeting space, but it can be anything. In addition to the home, the kitchen, lounge, dining room, anything at all. Perfect space. This room in particular has a lantern over the top, which brings in loads of light. Whatever you have in mind for your space, we can bring it to reality. The whole building is completely adaptable to fit onto your house for whatever you want to use it as. Extensions will vary completely, first of all by the roof space. If you're looking for a glazed gable or perhaps a flat roof, this will accommodate to the property you're attaching to and whether there's any features or planning that you have to meet. The design consultants will again look at your needs, what you want to achieve from it and how we can best make use of the space and the light. The process just like the outbuildings. When you contact Oak Rites, a design consultant will start the conversation, understand your needs, evaluate the space. First of all, that can be from Google Maps, looking at the property, where you're looking to extend and taking into account the chance of planning and the accessibility to actually extend it. If it's the back of the house with no access, it's probably going to be pretty hard, but it's not very common. Once the design is finalised, we submit it into planning. Fingers crossed, planning comes back and you're good to go and we can start the design process and get the extension made and add it onto your home. You can explore the different styles of extensions on our website, starting with the roof spaces, a pitched flat roof or mansard. Sometimes you can build an extension under permitted development. This isn't always the case, but it does have some design constraints to what you can build. Once this has all been signed off, we can order the oak and manufacture it and then come to site and erect it. The general trend of open plan living can be completely accommodated with an oak frame extension. By picking a small area in your home that you want to expand on, we can create a large space like this, which creates a modern, characterful space. Top tip, an extension can blend into local vernacular. Just because it's an oak frame inside, outside can be a stone, weatherboard or rendered building. The design of the extension really complements the surroundings. Depending on where the sun is and your garden, you can have glazing wherever you wish. Designing your extension is the perfect time to complement your property. Make use of what you've got by putting doors, sliding doors, bifolds, French doors, windows, glazing anywhere, really maximizing our light and the, and the space around it. Face glazing is a unique glazing system we use here at Oak Rites. It makes it look like the glass is hovering between the oak frame. Today we've looked at outbuildings, extensions and annexes. A large part of what we do here at Oak Rites, not just houses. We have a whole team here dedicated to fulfilling whatever oak frame dream you have. To gain an understanding if you need planning or not, get in touch with our design consultant who can advise you best whether you need to formally apply for planning or whether your property can fall under permitted development. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media channels and like, comment and subscribe.